for destruction. Your sin got out of control. 
And it got real, real, real perverted. Got real perverted, like Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm telling you, it's a sin problem. It's the wickedness of your heart, the perversion of your heart. This sin God judged. God judged this sin immediately. Immediately. It was swift destruction on the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Even the cities round about. God didn't wait till they died. God didn't wait till he breathed the last breath. God judged them immediately. That is one sin he would not tolerate. That is one sin he would not tolerate. And this sin is running rampant in this nation today. Be not surprised, people, that God will destroy this nation. Will he do what he did with Abraham when he says, Well, if there's just ten righteous, I will spare that city. If there's just ten righteous. I want to tell you something. The reason why we're still around, the reason why we're still around America is because there are some Christian blacks in this world. What? Sin is sin. What are you talking about? Yeah, but this is one sin God didn't tolerate. He dealt with it right away. And sin will cast you to hell. If you repent. If you repent. If you repent. She's crazy. You don't know. You can't keep living She's crazy. You don't know the Bible. I hate when people come up to us to tell us that they know. You don't even know what the Bible says. The Bible says repent, forsake your sin. You don't keep doing it. You must be a Catholic then, right? You must go to the priest and, and pay your pay your for your sin and keep doing it. You can't keep doing your sin. You gotta stop. That's the difference between someone who's a child of God and someone who's a sinner. A child cannot stop your sin and they continue to live godly and holy in Christ Jesus the Lord. They continue to live godly in Christ Jesus the Lord. You're to see. You're to see, young people. You've been molested. You've been touched. I don't know what happened in your life. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. I'm a man of God of nine children. I got nine children of my, uh, under my wing. And I pray that my children will never be molested or touched. When they start to do this kind of perversion, perverted sex. These poor children out here are going to see this evil. See this wicked shame on you. Back up, back up, shame on you. Back up, woman. Shame back up. You. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ. He will deliver Back you. Back up, woman. Jesus will change your heart. He will, he will fix the hate. wounds. You've got a lot of hate in your eyes. He will fix the hurt. You need to start loving. Start You're loving. Quit loving. You're the one who's you don't want anybody to get hate to go to hell. We're warning them. Come on, people. Let's face the facts. What are you this doing? What did Jesus you got to tell me. This is love. Tell me what Jesus said about your sexuality. Cut that shit off your face. Jesus said that. There's so much coming in there. I deserve to go to hell. No, I'm not throwing stones. I would never throw a stone. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. The guy broke your stuff. The guy in the black shirt is running. He just broke the cord. What do you do? Check, check. All right. Back in the business. Oh, we got children out here. Be very careful. Parental, parental uh, supervision is about Please cover your cover the eyes of the children. You don't see such perversion out here. You got children, listen, people. You got children out here. Just be aware. Oh, you got a person. Oh, it's sad. You know you're accountable before God the way you raise your child, man, and you're gonna allow the child to participate.
and they're going to praise and lift your hands to this. Yeah, you really? Sad. Well, we'll see. I know your IQ is a one, sir. I wouldn't be so proud of it. On Judgment Day, when you stand before God, you'd be paralyzed in fear. You wouldn't be flicking off the moon. You wouldn't be flicking me off. You wouldn't be so proud and bold as you are now. I tell you this much. On Judgment Day, you will remember this moment. That God gave you mercy to repent. That God would consider your soul. This is the mercy of God right here. Yes, this is the mercy. The mercy of God right here that triumphs over judgment. That triumphs over judgment. God is considering your soul because he loves you. God loves you so much that he would send a preacher to you to tell you the truth. You need to repent. You need to repent. You, you embrace this evil? What's wrong with you people? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Your children got to see all this evil, this wicked, twistedness. Come on, 30 years ago, you, you would hide. You would have come out and praised this stuff. I tell you this much, I'm telling you, when you see God, every one of you will see God on that day. You'll be paralyzed with fear. You're going to remember this moment. You're going to wish, oh God, I should have stopped that sin. I should have never participated in this evil. On that day, it'll be too late for you. Now is the time. Now is the time to get right. Now is the time to get right with God. You need to read that Bible. Believe the Lord Jesus Christ. He's Lord over all. He came to die for you. Jesus came to die for you so that you don't have to continue in this sin. He died for you and rose from the dead so that you can be free from this bondage of sin. Oh, shame on you, sad. Oh, so sad.